again, my name is Enoch Garcia. I'm with Honest Accounting Group, a bookkeeping firm based in Los Angeles, California. And today I'm guiding you on how to generate and print a sales tax summary and sales tax detail report in QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. Let's go to reports. And once you're here on the top right, type in sales. And we want the sales tax liability report. I'm going to select all dates and run. And now we have the uh, sales tax accrued per location. So here we have Arizona Department of Revenue, the Board of Coalition in California. Please disregard the percentages. These are just examples. So in this example, we see that the total liability is 3840 and, and we have two items. So I'm going to open up the 422. And we see that the tax rate is 7.1. The tax amount is 29.96 for the uh, 422. So let's open the invoice so we see what's going on. So for this entire invoice, we see that 9.1 is the sales tax rate totaling the 3840 that we saw initially for Tucson. Now, the reason it's 9.1 and here it's saying 7.1 is because when we go to this screen, which is our sales tax center, we see that Tucson is broken down in two. So the 9.1 is broken down in 7.1 and two, Arizona State and Tucson City. And that's why when we go to the report summary, we see that there are two items, 7.1 and two, totaling the 38.4. And then California as well. So for California, we have multiple invoices but it's easy to calculate. So if I do the 5,118 times the 8%, we have the 409.44. So this is how you generate a summary report per location. Now, if we go back to reports, again, type sales, and now we go to taxable sales detail. Now we have multiple line items. So now we're going to be able to see what the sales tax amount per line item is. So we have concrete here, rock fountains, rocks, and so on. Now, initially, when you open this report, it's not going to tell you what the amount is. You have to add it. So let's go to the gear icon, show more, and add the column of tax amount. And now we see the tax amount. So here we have invoice uh, 1029 for Duke's basketball camp. It was concrete done, uh, $15 per five times five, 75. So the, the, the sales tax liability for this line item was 683. Now, if I do it for all dates, just so that we see all of the activity, we see that there are multiple invoices for multiple customers. So if we want to see the breakdown per line item for just one customer, we go to customize, filter, and then we select customer and start typing the name. So I'm going to do Duke, Duke's basketball camp, and run report. And now we have this invoice, 1029, 1029, 1029, concrete, rock fountain, rocks, the amount that was billed out, and how much the tax liability is. So if you remember, it was 3840 in the summary that we saw earlier, um, and now it all adds up to the same amount. So these reports are good so that you can see the detail of how much um, and where the, the tax liability is coming from. Uh, sometimes when you just see the tax liability being X amount and you don't know what invoice is accrued, is it right, is it wrong, and so on. So this gives you further insight. If this was helpful to you, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.